Günaydın arkadaşlar. Hepiniz hoş geldiniz. Sizleri bu sıcak, bu güzel Orlando gününden karşılıyorum. Suyumu içiyorum ve şimdi biçe gideceğim. Tampa'ya doğru gideceğim. St. Petersburg tarafına gideceğim. Orada bir Clearwater diye bir yer var. Herhalde bu taraflarda yaşıyorsanız biliyorsunuzdur ama yani bence Florida bölgesinde gidebilecek beach'lerden birkaç tanesi. Yani bu Coco Beach tarafına yani sağ tarafa doğru gittiğinizde yani daha çok doğuya kaçtığınızda oradaki köpek balık sayısı artıyor. Bir de deniz birazcık daha kirli. Bir de insan kalitesi bir tık daha düşük oluyor bence Coco Beach taraflarında biraz daha aşağı doğru gidildiğinde. Ama Tampa tarafı, Clearwater tarafı bir tık daha güzel böyle. Daha güzel gençlerin gittiği, eğlendiği, daha kaliteli insanların takıldığı yerler bence. Bir tık daha ailelerin gittiği bir yer. Neyse arkadaşlar 2 saat yolum var. İsterseniz yavaştan arabaya atlayalım mı derken atlamayacağız. Şimdi başka bir arabayla gideceğiz. Hemen arabaya doğru geçelim. Bir tane Porsche var yanımda. Hem de Cayenne. Hani biliyorsunuz ben SUV bu aralar merak saldım ya arabayı değiştirirsem ne alabilirim diye soruyorsunuz ya bana o arabalardan bir tanesi de Cayenne arkadaşlar. Evet. Bugün yanımızda Shannon var. Miss Shannon, how are you today? Hi. How's it going? It's going good. So you love Porsche, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so she told me she has how many four Porsches you have? Why you like Porsche so much? It's such a great brand. Such a great brand. And a great car. Wow. Yeah. Do you want to tell them how we meet? Uh, we met at the gym. The gym? Yeah. Okay. How? Uh, so, him and his friends were speaking Turkish, and when I walked by, I told my gym friend that I thought they were speaking Turkish. And he was like, no way, how do you know? And I was like, well, uh, my dad's Turkish, and I grew up hearing it, so I went over and I asked them, are you guys speaking Turkish? No. no <laughs> and then he didn't believe me that I was Turkish. Yeah, I was like, no way. She looks like a white girl, you know? <laughs> she doesn't even look Turkish. But when she says something Turkish, I was like, how do you know Turkish? <laughs> do you know Turkish? Not really. Just a little bit. Just a little bit? So like, what do you know in Turkish? Like, hi and bye. <laughs> Just basics. Merhaba, teşekkürüm. <laughs> So you have you ever been in Turkey before? Yeah, I've been like six times. Six times? Yeah. Uh, but when you were a kid, I guess, right? Yeah, when I was younger. But you want to go? I do. <laughs> She's crazy yeah. about Turkey. She wants to go to Turkey. I want to go back so bad. To Istanbul or where? Where do you want to go? You don't I want to go to Cappadocia first, but Istanbul, yeah. Which cities did you visit in Turkey? Um, do you remember when you were a kid? Ankara, Cappadocia, Istanbul, Marmar, um, <laughs> I don't know, a few other ones. <laughs> nice, nice, nice. So you try Turkish food too? Yeah. So let's compare American food and Turkish food, you know? So what do you think about it? <laughs> American food is definitely not on the same level as Turkish food. American mm -hmm. food is more fatty, bad for you, I would say. Turkish food is better, I think. Okay, so you like Turkish food better? Yeah. Got it. So what is your favorite dish? Or like, let's say, favorite uh, dessert? Well, my favorite dish is like manta. It's like the little noodles Mante. With, the, <laughs> okay. with the meat. <laughs> well, when it gets cold, like, it's not having fun to have them? Yeah, no. Right? So you have... eat it when it's hot. Yeah, yeah. I like mm -hmm. manta too. But for me, have you ever tried sütlaç, rice pudding? No, I don't think so. Oh, you didn't try it. Okay, we're gonna try. Maybe today, since <laughs> okay. we are going to Tampa, there is a Greek town. If you stop by there, they do like really good rice pudding, but it's like Greek way, you know? Because Chobani, they claim that it's Greek, but the guy that makes it is actually Turkish. Yeah, Chobani. So, mm -hmm. you know Chobani too, that's so interesting. You know, so yeah. many things. <laughs> Chobani diye bir yurt firması var arkadaşlar. Burada da, uh, belki arkadaşlar bilmiyordur. Çok büyük. Uh, do you know they, they profit a lot? They make so much money. Really? Yeah. Well, they market it as Greek, so I guess it's like for Americans. <gülüyor> Bakın bir Amerikalı bir kız bile diyor ki, Çobani diye bir Türk adam var diyor, Amerika'da Yunan yoğurdu satıyor diyor. Yani Greek yoğurt olarak tanıtıyor diyor. Yani buradan anlayabilirsiniz marketingin ne kadar önemli olduğunu. Çünkü yani Türkler çok bilinmiyor burada ama Yunanlar dünya çapında dedense daha iyi marketing yaptıkları için kendilerini daha iyi biliniyor. Bakın en iyi güzel örneği Avrupa. I was just telling them that, you know, Greek people, they advertise their country really good. And then that's how everybody knows, like even in America, you know. But Turkish people, I think we are not good at advertising our beautiful country. Yeah, I agree. I think when 
Americans hear turkey, I don't think they think it's what it actually is. They see it more as like a Middle Eastern country and less of the beauty that it actually is. Oh, when somebody says I'm from Turkey, they think it's like a Middle Eastern yeah. country? Yeah. But when somebody says I'm from Greece? Yeah, they're like, oh, you're a beautiful, like, they, they think it's a lot better. I don't know, people, they don't even know where is Turkey. When I talk with them, they're like, I'm from Turkey. I was like, okay. You know the meme? Okay. <laughs> I was like, do you know where is Turkey? He's like, uh, somewhere Middle East. We're going to Tampa and Sh Shannon is going to buy a driver. Shannon, right? Shannon? How can I pronounce her name? Shannon? Shannon. Shannon, okay, I'm good. Can you pronounce my name? Okan. Okan. I mean, you're Turkish, that's why probably. <laughs> you pronounce really good. I'm American, American. <laughs> but you're Turkish, you told me. Yeah. Yeah. 50%. My bloodline is Turkish. What's your dad name? My dad's name is Mahmut. Mahmut. Mahmut. Mahmut, yeah. <gülüyor> We okay. call him Memo. Bugün böyle biraz farklı bir hayat göstereyim dedim sizlere. <gülüyor> yani yarı Türk, yarı Amerikalı. Çok böyle e, farklı bir hikayesi var. Siz de görmüş olursunuz. Biz de bir biçe gidelim, gezelim. Bugün yağmuru da yağabilir, yağmura yakalanmadan. Görüşürüz. Yoldayız. Biraz kahve içelim. Ayılmamız lazım. So should I buy Cayenne? Yes. I'm trying to convince him today to buy a Cayenne. Like, I want him to have one. Okay, show us some features. So, What do you like? The air conditioning is all touchscreen. It's in through here. You can swipe through the different Porsche modules on this side. And then you can also have CarPlay going here. Um, and then you can switch. It's really cool. You can change the different color of the Interior. Okay, there's a lighting. Yeah, nice. I mean, you can't see it during the day, but at night it's really cool. And you can change where and how much light it gets. So a lot of things you can't do while you're driving, obviously, for safety reasons. But this car is amazing. You mean it. Şimdi Starbucks'a geldik. Bir kahve alacağız. Ama ne kadar çok sıra var görüyor musunuz? Bakın insanlar sıraya girmiş. Burada hiç içeri girmeden kahve alabiliyorsunuz. Drive thru diye bir sistem var. Ama bu kadar normalde insan olmuyor. Baksanıza ne kadar çok insan var. Hep bu işte spring break. Oha. Normalde bu lokasyonda bu kadar şey olamaz. You know oha? Şey fazla. Oha'yı biliyormuş işte. Bazı şeyleri biliyor. Buyurunuz efendim. So you wanna have what right now? Me. Tell again. It's simit. Yeah. Yeah. So I like think Starbucks they, they don't have simit here. I'm sad. I want one with Nutella. Okay. You can also put cheese. No, you know, but it's better with Nutella. Like it's... all over it. Okay, Nutella with simit and yeah. say simit. I start feeling like simit and just like you. Simit. It's simit. He didn't know what I was saying at first. He was like, what are you trying to say to me? Yeah, it's sweet. And you have to drink Turkish tea yeah, you know, with, the, with the chai, yes. Oh, you know chai too? Yeah. Okay. What do you want to drink here though? They don't have chai here, they don't have simit here. They do have chai. They, do have, they have chai, but not Turkish tea. Yeah. No. So when she was a baby, she was looked like that. Şimdi kahvelerimizi aldık. Cheers. Afiyet olsun, you know afiyet olsun? Like enjoy it, you know. Enjoy your coffee, but you got a tea, right? Mm -hmm. Kayan almam için beni ikna etmeye çalışıyor arkadaşlar. Ama güzel de gözüküyor yani. I like Kayan with black color too. This one's midnight blue. Midnight blue? Yeah. Oh, because of my sunglasses, maybe I don't see properly. But okay, it's midnight blue. It's dirty. So, so we are doing close. some car reviews here, yeah, right? Car review you is... like cars? Yes. Which one is your favorite? Um, obviously Porsche, but uh, <laughs> I would say the GT3. GT3. Have you ever drive any GT3 before? I have, yeah. Okay. They're amazing. And then <laughs> have a you want to talk about driving history, racing history with your families. It's <laughs> so, interesting. We used to have a um, 911 or 930 Turbo S, and it was a Martini Rossi edition. It was like one of 125, and my mom used to actually race it. So it used to like spit flames. It was really cool. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So I think you know lots of things more than me when it comes to, you know, cars, stuff like that. That's interesting. Maybe just Porsches. <laughs> just Porsches? You don't know BMWs? Uh, yeah. I mean, I used to work at PSI, which is a tuning, like, car shop in Orlando. They specialize in BMWs and Porsches. So I know maybe a little bit. <laughs> so I have a question for you, just because they always ask me to, like, 
You know, I used to have a BMW M8. Which one you prefer, M8 or the GT I have right now? Mm -hmm. What do you think? I don't know, that's hard. They're very, two very different cars. Yeah. Um, yeah, when it comes to what, you know, let's, like just I, in general. I like the M8 as like a daily car. I think you're dailying the GT is maybe not so yeah. great. I think if you had both, like daily the M8 and then the GT would be your weekend car. But yeah. I think definitely both are, are really good. I wouldn't choose one or the other. Yeah. Yeah. Bir kız benden daha fazla araba biliyor arkadaşlar. Yani şu an çok şaşırıyorum. Biraz önce bana diyor ki annemin arabasına Stage 2 yaptık diyor. Onun Porsche'dan kendi aldıkları bir cihaz varmış galiba. O cihazla falan yapmışlar. İşte egzozlardan bahsetti falan. Dedim I don't even know the things about my mom. Yeah. Uh, she has a Miami Blue Porsche Macan uh, S and it's mm -hmm. got an exhaust on it and it's also tuned. So it's a pretty loud car for it being a, a sport SUV, um, and it's pretty damn quick. <laughs> yeah. It gets really fast, yeah, a lot faster than mine. I just have a base Macan, um, and it definitely does not sound or perform the same way that the S does. So how did you learn all the things about cars like that? Like, you know, so many things, even <laughs> most of the guys included me, I don't even know, you know? So. I've grown up around cars my whole life, but my parents are really into Porsches and we're a part of the PCA, which is the Porsche Club of America. And we started doing a lot of events with them before I had my own Porsche. I had an Audi before and I started getting really into them as they were getting into them. And mm -hmm. it just kind of became a family thing. So uh, after I graduated college, I bought myself a Porsche. That way I could do those things with my parents. And then I just started learning that way I could do my own maintenance. I could do all my own work on the car. Can you and, change car oil? With yeah, so oh. I, I can do all my own car oil brakes. I cannot. So. Um, I've done transmission fluid. Like I, I've done a, pretty much everything maintenance wise on my car. I do myself. So. Wow, um, that's impressive actually. Yeah, sometimes I and have help from dad. I'm 23. I mean, I, obviously I know, but just for the people, you know. <laughs> I know how old are you, but like she's 23 yeah. and then she know all those things about cars is like really yeah. impressive. But I've me. been changing my own oil since I had my own car. So when I was 16, my dad taught me how to change oil in my first car. And then as well, when I had the Audi Q5, I would change my own oil and so. Oh. It's just something it's it honestly saves a lot of money and then you know what's happening to your car You're yeah, in control of yeah, it. Yeah. Um, I noticed that like my car definitely Lasted way longer than I think it would have versus like taking it in for example. I took it to Audi one time and They actually lost a couple of bolts for my underneath plates and like So I don't know. I'd rather just do it all myself <laughs> Yeah I'm shocked, you know so many things, you know I wish I knew, you know, but... But I'm gonna teach him. I mean, I had my driver license back in Turkey, but I didn't have a car. He's not good. I'm good, I just don't drive fast like you. Like, hey. you, she's driving like a, you know, He's slow. rally, she's in rally, right? Yeah, well, I mean, to me, if you have the car and it performs a certain way, I think you should enjoy it in that way. I mean, yeah, um, yeah, but not all <laughs> <laughs> so, so everywhere I go, I kind of I drive like the car's meant to be driven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I think I, I think I scare you a little. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's drive. Let's, do let's it. see how we drive. Oh gosh. No, no, I don't want to record. I don't want to. I don't want to go to jail. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Biz yoldayız arkadaşlar. Yol biraz uzun öyle. Makara sohbet, muhabbet. Size de biraz makaralarımızı gösterelim dedik. Biraz da İngilizce öğrenin. Yani özellikle Amerika'ya geldiğiniz zaman insanlarla konuşma gerçekten İngilizcenizi çok geliştiriyor. Pratik çok önemli. Yani gramer de önemli ama yani konuşamadıktan sonra gramin de pek bir anlamı kalmıyor. O yüzden buraya gelecek arkadaşlar ya da Avrupa'ya, Avustralya, dünyanın neresine giderseniz gidin. Şu İngilizceyi halletmek lazım ya. En kısa sürede umarım hallederseniz. Benim İngilizcemde gördüğünüz gibi mükemmel değil ama hani insanlarla anlaşabildiğiniz sürece çok büyük sorun yok. I was talking about the, how important is the English, you know? And then what do you think about my English, though? Uh, I think your English is really good. 
You understand me, right? I understand you, but I feel like I also understand you better because my dad is Turkish, whereas I think if somebody was really American-American, they might not understand you as much. Mm -hmm. But I do think his English is really good for learning it. Not it's just not bad. Though, you know, when I moved here, which is like six years ago, my English was really bad, but I, I had to talk. when you talk fast, I, I don't understand some things. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's normal. You know, I'm not born and raised here. I moved here at your age. 23, 24. Now yeah. I'm turning 30. I'm getting old, guys, but it is what it is. That's life, and That's we're gonna enjoy our day. To <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna enjoy our day today. <laughs> See you. No cheers. Oh, sorry. <laughs> See you. <ya. laughs> what is this? Um, it's a job. Going to jail. <laughs> is it legal? Yes, it's legal. In some states it's not legal, but here it's legal. And so, it tells me when there's cops about to pull me over. Why? Because you speed? No. No? <laughs> I feel like Turkish people just use sounds that aren't actually words like ah uh, or like oha uh, or you, I, <laughs> like, you I don't uh -huh. know. You just say Nothing but say something at the same time. Just weird sounds come out of your mouth <laughs> and things happen. So, so oh, huh? Oh, huh? Oops. Oops, that one. Oops. Ah, like, <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? <laughs> That's supposed to mean everything. We don't have to talk, we are just expressing yeah, you ourselves. You guys don't. Like when you get excited, use words. you're like, like when it you see something. Like, oh, huh? You know, oh, huh? Oh, huh? <laughs> oh, huh? What happened? Oh, huh? <laughs> It, but oh, can mean like 800 different things. Yeah, yeah. So. Or oops, like you forget yeah. something, or like oops. Or, or like something happens. Something happens. Oops. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. You know, you know the something. The non-verbals. That's yeah. what they're called. Non-verbals. <laughs> yeah. Do you guys have non-verbals here? Uh, Probably you have too. I just. Yeah, but not as much. Like not as prominent as the Turkish ones. Like when I go to Turkey, everybody always. Oha. Oha. Oops. Aa. <gülüyor> evet şimdi kahvaltıya geldik arkadaşlar. Yani şu an Tampa'dayız. Tampa'ya gideceğimizi söylemiştim size. Clearwater burada. Ama şimdi biçe gideceğimiz için bir de yani orada 3-4 saat duracağız ve ben kahvaltı yapmadım. Şimdi Kiki'ye geldik arkadaşlar. Burada benim sürekli yediğim bir kahvaltı var. Greek omlet. Üstüne ben bir 3-4 tane daha yumurta attırıyorum. Çok güzel oluyor. What do you want to have? I'm gonna get omelet. Um, I'm gonna do the scrambler bowl. It's like an egg with home fries, which are like little sliced potatoes. And I'm gonna do it with egg whites and then do spinach, onion, and green pepper. So I'm healthy. A little bit of cheese. Hello. Hello. Summer, I'm taking care of you, my loves. What are we drinking and what are we having today, babes? Um, Water. Okay. I'm gonna get three omelets. Okay. Uh, how many eggs does it come with? It's gonna come with three eggs. Three. Can you add like three more? Yeah. So six eggs. Okay. All right. I'm gonna put y'all's food in, loves, and then I'll get you drinks, babes. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Şimdi omletim geldi arkadaşlar. Greek omlet. Üç tane daha fazla yumurta attım. Altı tane. Bu şekilde gözüküyor. Yanında da pancake aldık. Yani pancake. Nasıl Amerikalar pancake diyor da. İşte bunu da yanına böyle yiyeceğim. Hadi bana afiyet olsun. Evet şimdi biçe geldik arkadaşlar. Güneş de gayet güzel. Çok sıcak değil. Yani 85-84 Fahrenheit. Burası 100 Fahrenheit'i geçince hiç çekilmez oluyor. Bu zamanlar gidilir. Ama yazın gerçekten çok sıcak. Huh. Yanımıza böyle bir şey aldık. Bunu biçte kuracağız. Güzel. Yani eğer siz de Bilmiyorum Türkiye'de sahil kenarlarında yaşıyorsanız ben seviyorum böyle hani date'lerinizde vesaire böyle biçe gitmeyi güzel bir vibe oluyor. Aranızda sevenler varsa yazsın. Ben genelde biliyorsunuz yaptığım bazı videolarda şimdi söylemeyeyim yaptığım o eski videolarda yine biçe gitmiştim. Seviyorum yani Florida'nın vibe'ı bu. Üstün açacaksın arabanın, gezeceksin, tozacaksın, biçe gideceksin. İzin günlerinde tabii. Çalışma günlerinde Güzel çalışacaksın, eğlenme günlerinde de güzel eğleneceksin. Benim birazcık da yaşam felsefem biliyorsunuz bu yönde. Her neyse geldik sayılır. Evet, Spring Break ve sen Bubbles Day, St. Patrick Day. Yeah. 
St. Patrick Day ile Spring Break olunca böyle oluyor arkadaşlar. Herkes buralarda gördüğünüz gibi eğleniyor. Herkes genç. Arkadaşlar, üniversite öğrencileri gelmiş. Ben daha önce buraya gelmiştim ama tabii benim geldiğim zamanlarda bu kadar hareket yoktu arkadaşlar. Yani bu kadar insan yoktu. Ama şu an Spring Break diyorlar. Bu üniversitelerin izin zamanları oluyor. Sömestr'da izin zamanları. Yani bir dönem bittikten sonra diğer dönem başlamadan öğrenciler buraya girip eğleniyor. Şimdi şurayı kurduk arkadaşlar. Şöyle bir gölge alanımız var. Gayet güzel bir yer. Hatta şuralara böyle kum sıkıştırıyorsunuz. Baya pratik yapmışlar. Bilmiyorum gözüküyor mu ama heh, şurada. Kumları böyle sıkıştırıyorsunuz. Bir yere sabitliyorsunuz. Ve bu şekilde. Baya pratikmiş. 250 dolar bir şeymiş kızın. Çok pratik. Ben de alacağım aynısından. Ortam böyle işte. Gençler eğleniyor. So if you click two times, one, two, it's gonna go. No, this is three. If you click. <laughs> just click two times. It's gonna make it like right. center. But if you click on my face two times on the screen, it's gonna strike. It's gonna strike my face. Yeah, just click two times. Okay. Is it, it tracking your face? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Recording. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's tracking, right? <laughs> Striking? No, it's not striking. Wait, yes it is. Is it? Striking? I think so. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> okay. okay. Gimbal, gimbal re-centered. Click two times and then click on my face two times on the screen. Okay. Is it Active right track now? enabled. Yes. Is it recording right yes. now? Yes. Still? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna okay run. run. It's following you. <laughs> no, that's so wild. Right? Yeah, it follows. Yes. It's a nice investment. He's got two phones. One for the bitches. One for the hoes. For the bitches. <laughs> he's native now, but he still thinks he's a tourist. It's been only six years. Yeah, he's a native. He's a Floridian now, I'm just but a he tourist. still claims that he's a tourist, a Turkish tourist. <laughs> but he's a full Floridian. Hopefully soon. A Floridian yeah, soon. in the wild. <laughs> Tell them about your beach day. It's it's, it's kind of hot, but I love it. So many young people here. And, and they're pretty fit, most of them, right? Yeah, that's interesting. Which you know? was crazy. Yeah, I think American people, they are mostly like, you know, fat, but not in Florida, I guess. Overweight? I don't know. I thought it was pretty crazy how many people that I saw that were fit. Yeah. I yeah. think it honestly shocked me. I was expecting to see a lot more like obese and yeah. a lot more overweight people than we saw. Yeah, I think young generation is getting strong. So finally, influencers, they did something better for the community, you know? Good shit. Gün batımı oluyor neredeyse. Manzaramızı gördük. Yavaş yavaş şimdi Tampa'dan ayrılacağız. Birkaç şey yemek yiyelim diyoruz. Bir iş biliyorsunuz insan acık duruyor. Güzel bir gündü, eğlenceli bir gündü. Ben de bayağıdır aslında denize gireyim, sahilde takılayım yapamıyordum. İşten güçten bir de biliyorsunuz şimdi ofis muhabbeti var. Onu sizlere daha detaylı anlatırım gerçi. Artık ofise gidiyorum. Haftanın 3 günü zorunlu oldu arkadaşlar. O biraz beni yoruyor. Sabah artık erken saatlerde kalkıyorum, işe gidiyorum, işten birazcık geç çıkıyorum, spora gidiyorum. Yani sabah 7 gibi uyanıyorum aslında. 8'de evden çıkıyorum, akşam da 8.30-9 gibi eve geliyorum. O yüzden kendim ayıracak çok vaktim olmuyor şu sıralar. O yüzden hafta sonu eğleniyorum açıkçası. Dediğim gibi şimdi bir yemek yemeye gidelim, bir şeyler yiyelim. Bayağı acıktım. Daha sonrasında ne yediğimizi gösteririz. He looks American American. Okan is red as hell. What? Like look at it. Arkadaşlar bayağı bir kırmızardım. My skin was all white. Now it's getting red. I hope it's not gonna be painful tomorrow morning. Maybe tonight. I wanna sleep, you know. You're gonna get a cayenne now, right? Yeah. You're just saying yeah.
That's such a weird angle. You're gonna buy one now? You so far, it. so good. You love it, don't It's you? a good experience. I like it. It's smooth. That's good. It's gonna then, be a Porsche owner by the end of the night. I swear. Seats are really comfortable. That's the first thing I like. The second thing is the quality of the screen. It's also really good quality. It's a little bit glitchy, but it's okay. It's not like too, too much issue. I know it's like a Porsche is not the best when it comes to electronic, especially for like the, the touching part. But overall you have space, like you can put everything. As you can see, we put our water bottle here. Every, like you have space. I'm a big guy, so I need some space. I also like those handles. I'm the kind of grandpa. <laughs> I like those handle stuff. Like here, you know, you can like take a rest, drive your car, and then it's smooth, you know? It's not like bumpy. I kind of like it too, but the only thing I don't like so far is the wheel. I like the how it's designed, but it's not heavy, you know? It's like kind of, I, I don't think it's cheap plastic. It's maybe something different material since it's Porsche, but it's just like a little bit, I don't know. It's not heavy, you know? I feel like I can move it all the way back, it's like, you know, I don't know how to explain, but <laughs> I was expecting it's a little bit heavy and a little bit better material, you know, when I put my hands on, it's like kind of plasticky, that's the only thing I don't like. New Porsche owner. <laughs> she really wants me to get a Cayenne. Arkadaşlar, you know arkadaşlar? No. Friends. <laughs> And then what, what did you say? Lutfen? Lutfen? Lutfen. <laughs> it was so random. Su. Su random. <laughs> Su Lutfen. You're learning some Turkish from me, huh? Mm -hmm. Nice. We did now numbers. Oh yeah. Beer. Okay, count <laughs> one to ten in Turkish. No, I miss it in the middle. Beer. Beer. Iki. Iki. Üç. Üç. Dört. Beş. Altı. Altı. Yedi. Yedi. Sekiz. Dokuz. Dokuz. Yes. Congrats. Thanks. Evet, şimdi geri döndük arkadaşlar. Sabah çıkmıştık. Yani sabah derken yine 11 gibi, 10.30 gibi çıkmıştık. Şimdi geri geldik. Yine saat aşağı yukarı 10. Uzun bir gündü. Ben bayağı bir yandım bu arada. Bu arada Türk restorana gidemedik. Türk restoranında çok sıra vardı. Biz de yarım saat 40 dakika beklemek istemedik. Çok açtık. Tay restorana gittik. Tay yemekleri yedik. Ve şimdi günü artık yavaş yavaş bitirme zamanı. You wanna say something? I'm finishing up the video. <gülüyor> He's gonna buy a Cayenne. <laughs> She's still thinking about me buying a Cayenne, but yeah, I like the car. Yeah. You know. He got sunburn. He's yeah. a little red. I, I, on the other hand, my Turkish Mediterranean skin. <laughs> <laughs> I just turned brown. <laughs> then, in the ocean, it was warm. It was good. My hair got curly. I benim saçları da. <laughs> Allah'tan keratin falan biraz olduğu için tuttu benim saçları da. You know the keratin I did my hair. Yeah. Maybe that's why it's still straight. It's good. It's still yeah. super straight. Mine, on the other hand, I didn't use it, so <laughs> I'm super curly. Neyse arkadaşlar, yarın benim çalışmam lazım. Are you gonna work tomorrow? Yeah. Early morning, right? Yeah. Okay. I have to get up at 5:30 and be to work at 7. <laughs> yeah. She needs to sleep. I need to sleep. We're tired. Yeah. It's a long day for both of us. We had Thai food. Yeah. We had Thai food. Why didn't we have Turkish food though? Uh, there was too many people. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't make a reservation. <laughs> yeah, yeah, there was no reservation. That's why too. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Subscribe. Say subscribe. Uh, subscribe. Like Thanks the video. Thanks for watching. Like the video. <laughs> Tell him he needs to buy a Cayenne in the comments. Goodbye, guys. Bye bye.